What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. Today I want to answer a very simple question. What happened to my character Francis? Now it's recently occurred to me after talking to some people and meeting some people, a lot of the new subscribers here on the channel don't even know what Francis is or what that character is. But have you ever seen any of these viral videos before? Yeah, did you drink my Mountain Dew? Did you drink my Mountain Dew? Let me smell your breath. Let me smell your breath. Francis, leave your brother alone. No. Oh my god, it's a PlayStation 4! It's a PlayStation 4! <laughs> Do you think this is a game? Do you think this is a motherfucking game? Now, at one point on YouTube, that was my claim to fame. I did uh, these Francis sketches, as we called them. Uh, I was a character with a fake lisp and a fake voice doing fake rage sketches for a very long period of time. Fake rage on YouTube. Scripted rage was very, very popular. And certainly, if you go to my YouTube channel and you sort my videos by the most viewed and the most popular, they're all going to be Francis videos. And that's led a lot of people really wondering why I don't do the character anymore. And so I, I want to explain that now. The first and most obvious answer is the adpocalypse happened. Um, it basically, all of my Francis videos got demonetized. I mean, look at this. Every Francis video I've ever made, all of the famous ones, all of the big ones, they're all pretty much demonetized. And if they're not demonetized yet, they will be eventually. And of course, I've appealed all of this to try to get them to re-monetize them. YouTube just is not interested. They don't want this type of content on YouTube anymore. And so that's a very scary thing to do to create content YouTube clearly doesn't want here. But I've often said that I will continue to do YouTube for free, even if even if there was no pay for it. And that's true. I don't want to jeopardize the channel, though. I don't want to get a strike on the channel. I don't want to lose my monetization. I don't want to become unadvertiser friendly. I don't want YouTube to hate this channel. So that's one of the major reasons. But that's not the only reason, because I've often said I would do YouTube for free if it came down to it. And that's true. So a lot of people wonder why I won't make Francis videos for free. But there's a second big reason that really took the wind out of the Francis sketches specifically. If you ever watch one of those sketch videos, you know that I had a sister character who was a voiceless character with dialogue behind the camera who filmed everything, who helped me set everything up, who helped me clean everything. And that character was played by my now ex-wife, who I haven't lived with for over a year. So that means I've lost my co-actor, my co-author, my director, one of my script writers, and my crew. They're, they're all gone. My ex-wife was helping me with every single one of those videos, and now I don't have that person in my life to help anymore. So now I have to hire a camera person. I have to hire actors. I have to spend money, not just on the props that we use, not just on the stuff that we break, but on the actual crew as well. So you're looking at three, four, five hundred dollars $500 to produce one of these videos, and they're not going to get monetized. So it's a losing proposition. I'm spending money to lose money for no other good reason. And it, 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 at that point, it just stops being a good idea. But I think the third and most important reason is my heart isn't in it the way that it used to be. And that's partially because of the divorce. It's partially because it just stopped being fun to break stuff, especially when you're doing it at a loss. And that's why I've tried so many different ways to reinvent the character and find ways to fit him here on YouTube. Because I still love the character. I still love doing it. And I know you guys still love watching it. Well, sometimes. To be honest, whenever I post a new Francis sketch or a new Francis video or a Francis rage about video games or something like that, the views are not what they used to be. That's definitely true. But it's also the subscribers. My subscriber numbers will drop like a rock because there's so many people who've never been introduced to Francis before. They don't know what the character is. They don't know why I'm doing it. They see this in their subscription feed and they're like, I'm out. I have no why. I thought this guy was a nice guy. Now he's a crazy person. They don't even have the concept or the idea that Francis is just a character. And in this crazy, wildly politically charged world that we are in, um, a lot of people have actually tried to use that against me. They've tried to say, well, look, that's who he really is. He's actually really like Francis. He's actually a crazy person. He's not actually a nice guy. Look at him when he smashes those Xbox. Looks, he was abusing his wife by throwing Pokemon dolls at her. They don't get that it was sketches. They don't get it that it was an act. They don't get that it was a parody of, of gaming culture. They, they don't understand that. And sometimes it's really confusing and scary. And sometimes I think that's purposeful obtuseness. Sometimes I think that's willful ignorance. But sometimes people surprise you by how little they understand the world. So before making this video, I've done a lot of soul searching and I've tried to figure out, do I want to play a crazy person on YouTube anymore? And if so, how do I want to do it? 
Now, you've seen that I've done a few Francis Rages about video games and stuff going on in the gaming industry. I've done a few Francis uh, podcasts, the Split Personality Podcast, which I thought was a brilliant way to reincorporate the character, but it just didn't get the views that I wanted. If you didn't watch that, by the way, I will link it in the description box below. Hopefully, you will enjoy it if you're an old fan of Francis. But the point of this video is to ask you the very simple question. Do you miss Francis, or do you just prefer the real me? Would you watch that stuff if I created a second channel for it, if I found a place to put it, um, if I decided to create a Patreon and asked you guys to help me fund those videos and pay for the actors and pay for stuff like that, would that be something you would be interested in doing? Maybe we'd upload that content exclusively to Patreon. I, I don't know. There's a lot of different ways we could do this. I just want to know if the interest is there. So along with this video, I'm also going to post a uh, link to a community tab poll. If you check my channel in the community tab, you will see it there. Maybe you saw the poll in the subscription feed along with this video. I'll link to it in the comment section. I'll link to it in the description section. I want to know what your thoughts are on this because I'm really, really curious as to whether or not you think Francis should even be part of this channel anymore, if he should be on a different channel. And know that I'm going to be reading all the comments. I'm going to be listening to what you have to say, and we might do a follow-up video about it as well. But the harsh reality, the question is, what happened to Francis? YouTube kind of killed it. Um, the day of scripted rages and scripted narrative stuff here on YouTube is almost completely gone. And if you want to say an F-bomb or an S-word or a B-word in your video, be prepared. Coca-Cola is not going to help you support that lifestyle no more. Only family friendly. Maybe we need to be, bring family friendly Francis back. That was a lot of fun. Maybe that's what we'll do. It's family time. It's family time with Francis. All right, guys, I do hope you vote in that poll. I hope you leave a comment. While you're here, by the way, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, hit that notification bell if you haven't. If you found this video by searching for what happened to Francis, I hope that you give me a fair chance. Enjoy the other content that I'm creating here on the channel. I think it's pretty good, and I hope that you guys will as well. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again soon.